how are you guys doing today i hope you're well someone on instagram asked me to do a video sharing all of the outfits that i wore on my honeymoon in the maldives with links to make it super easy for you guys to shop my kind of hot spring summer wardrobes a lot of the outfits that i wore in the maldives are definitely going to be repeated this summer i feel like i've really come into my summer spring style recently and i am just so excited about it because yeah it feels it feels really good to find kind of clothes that you feel confident in so i'm gonna pop a little montage slideshow of my outfits that i wore on my trip i'll leave all the links down below i'll also do this on instagram stories as well just to make it super easy for you i'll add it into a highlight but without further ado i hope you enjoy as well as flashing some images up on screen of outfit inspo i thought i'd talk you through a couple of looks as well just some of my favorites that i wore so this all white outfit is one of my favorites from the trip i actually got this white wraparound kind of cardigan from primark recently it was about eight pounds and i found it so versatile transitioning from winter to spring summer i think i'm going to get a lot of wear out of this because you could layer it up over a nice little pretty dress or it's kind of thick enough to layer up under a coat in the winter months so i teamed it with these white little linen shorts that you'll see again in this video because it's actually part of a two-piece set and yeah i just really like this look with the rattan hat and the bag which are two of my favorite products both of them down below this bag actually i used every single day it was big enough to carry all of my stuff in all of my cameras my books suntan lotion my sunglasses everything i needed for each day yeah it was such a staple i couldn't recommend this bag enough and it was super affordable as well i feel yeah very happy to have found that online before i left and paired with the sunglasses as well these sunglasses were from h&m they're like polarized ones so they're good and protect your eyes and then i'm also wearing the haviana uh, kind of like flat form sandals as well these are my first ever pair of havianas that i've ever bought and i chose the one with the kind of thicker platform shoe so that it gives me a tiny bit of height on the beach as well but yeah i really like this look especially on kind of the last days of the trip when you're getting a little bit more tanned the white really makes your skin kind of pop this again is one of my favourite looks. I actually bought this bucket hat. I think it was from H&M. It's like a white and black gingham. I bought this for when I go mudlarking. I didn't buy it as a fashion piece. But I actually really like it with this outfit. So I teamed it with a little boob tube. This is literally like a Primark boob tube. That I've had for about 10 years. Normally don't wear it just by itself. But I found that the weather was so nice in the Maldives. That it was just the perfect kind of thing to throw on. And throw a shirt on top and then i bought these really comfy cozy cotton trousers from amazon actually which is quite surprising they've got really stretchy elasticated waistband which i found so comfortable and these were actually way too long for me so i had to get them taken up by my tailor before i left they come in every single color these trousers and so i would definitely stock up for that reason because they were super comfortable and i think this is just such an easy outfit to wear with the flip-flops and again the bag i felt so so confident in this outfit this day um even though g my husband said that i look like he said i think he said i look like i'm from the band oasis <laughs> okay that boob tube is making a comeback this is what i wore on the last night of our trip so i'm wearing the boob tube and a little black skirt which is actually a little slip dress again from primark i've had probably about 10 years i just rolled the sleeves down and it's kind of tight enough to look like a mini skirt if I, if you came a bit closer you'd see what it actually looked like but then i teamed it with this really pretty kind of mesh sequin sparkle diamond over the top and i really really like this look i've worn this sequiny top a couple of times um, and i like how versatile it is because you can literally wear anything under it and it just adds a little bit of glam and sparkle again teamed it with the sunglasses the bag and the sandals those three items you're going to be seeing quite a lot because they just went with everything i really loved my swimwear from this trip i decided that i wanted to declutter pretty much all of my swimwear apart from some really staple monochrome pieces so i invested in this one shoulder bikini top which i wore all the time didn't give me any funny tan lines because i was very good at applying my spf so yeah i added the high-waisted black bikini bottoms i actually have had these for years i don't even know where they're from anymore i've had them for that long 
they might even be a hand-me-down from my mum you know that's how long I've had them and I have no idea where they're from I'll try and find something similar but I just like having the staple black tops and white tops that you can kind of mix and match with anything so yeah, that one shoulder bikini came in so handy. I just threw on a white shirt most of the time, just if I was kind of going around um, the island and wanted to protect my modesty a little bit. I got some really beautiful kind of knit knitwear crochet net dresses before I went and I was so excited to wear them. One of which is this kind of black mini dress one. I added just a black bikini halter from ASOS underneath it and a little black headband, loved that look. And I also got this white one as well, which I tried with both a black bikini underneath and a white bikini underneath and it looked fab with both. So I liked how I could wear that multiple times throughout my trip changing it up each time that's what i mean by just investing in in some nice monochrome pieces because that way everything will go together okay another one of my favorite outfits from the trip was this linen set this is really surprising where it's from i'll leave a link to it down below and really surprising at the cost it's so um affordable and again it comes in loads of different colors and sizes and um, so it's like a short sleeved linen shirt and bottoms as well and I just chucked this on with a white bikini underneath and absolutely felt so confident. Kind of like dad holiday vibes, but totally me, like relaxed, comfy, cozy, casual. This one was one I kind of regretted because I think you can tell, I'm probably gonna have to edit this out, but it was so see-through. The top didn't really work for me. My boobs are too big and I guess my nipples are too dark, although I think my nipples were a normal colour. I did try nipple patches on underneath this and it didn't really work, but it's such a shame because I really liked the kind of style of this and I thought it would look really cool on holiday, but sadly I couldn't wear it out. But yeah, I will flash everything else up on screen with a little kind of title as to what outfit it is so you can find it very easily in the description box. will be down below in the description box if there's anything that i've missed out or if there's any other links you want let me know and i will see you again next week Mwah.